Hi, it's Nell with a Joyous Garden, and today we're in the front yard again. I call this Sansevieria Hill. It hides the old gas, the old gas meters back here. The gas comes in through here, so the uh, the, uh, and the, and the little Mediterranean fan palm, and then the Sansevierias have nicely camouflaged that from my dining room window, so I don't even see it anymore. However, you've probably heard me say in a couple other videos that we had a very rainy early December. It was like a four day spell where it rained every day and that's unusual for us. So the Sansevieria's have kind of rotted out and then we got hit by a cold spell. So they are not looking good as you can see. And Sansevieria you might be familiar with as a house plant. But here they grow outdoors. I'm going to switch pruners because I thought I could do it with my fine nips. But I need these. And they grow by rhizomes. And the stems spread that way by rhizomes. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go through and I'm going to cut away all these old ones. Actually, this one has been stepped on. And I don't want it coming out here. So I'm going to cut these while I'm at it just to show you how they grow. Right in there and I'll go through and I'm just going to cut all the bad ones back. Go through and do that. And just go through. And then they will all they will start to come back because I've done this before. And I'm going to take out this one here cuz it's coming out on the pathway here that goes to the side of the house. And I'll take out this and I'm going to go around and do all of it. But what I'm gonna let, let, let Lucy do is go through and do a close up so you can really see how they grow. And then I'm gonna give you a few facts about these plants because you probably grow them as houseplants. And I'm actually gonna spell Sansevieria for you because it's, it's um, commonly spelled wrong. It's S-A-N-S-E-V-I-E-R-I-A. The common name that I learned about is, is snake plant. But then later on, when I was in school studying horticulture, it's, I also learned it's mother-in-law tongue. Oh my gosh, I guess because it's that long, narrow tongue. Don't tell your mother-in-law. It's, it's in the agave family, by the way. They're very tough. I live close to the ocean here, and it can take the sea air. It can also take dry air. Outdoors, it grows in the shade. It's pretty shaded here. And indoors, you would like it in bright light. And they're really easy. You need to repot them when the pot breaks. That, that's a rule. These rhizomes are really, really tough. So that's your rule when you can um, repot it is when the pot breaks. And it's a great house plant because it can take air conditioning or it can take dry heat. It can take a lot of the condi conditions indoors that other plants don't do. And it seldom gets pests. It might get mealybug every once in a while, but it isn't too bad. And the leaves come in various patterns. Here is, um, as you can see, there's this pattern here, and here's another one over here. It's very sharp. That's a Sansevieria, too. They are sometimes um, edged in yellow or edged in white and very tall or very short, so they come in a wide variety of heights and sizes. They are very sculptural and very architectural. They aren't as soft and fluffy as a fern, but boy, they are a lot easier to take care of as house plants. These plants are great house plants. They can take air conditioning indoors, they can take dry heat, they can take it hot, but they can take it cold. They, they um, actually like dry air, which a lot of house plants don't, so that makes it a really tough and great house plant. You probably water it every three weeks, if that, it, it likes to go dry. And the rule to repot this plant is when the pot breaks because it has these strong oh that that has, that's an aloe actually it has these strong roots so when it's growing in a pot these are uh, roots that rise from uh, rhizomes when um it gets really pot bound it'll actually break the plastic pot i've seen it actually break a clay pot too the roots are strong but until it does that you don't need to do it and they're very easy to propagate too you can just um here, I'll show you the, this one already has some roots coming at it, so I could just uh, stick that right in the soil. Or you can do it as a leaf cutting too. You can just cut off that leaf and let it heal off and then stick it in the soil. And that's it. And they really don't need a lot of fertilizing at all. I've never fertilized mine. They aren't that subject to pests, maybe a little bit of mealybug. They will because their leaves um, 
are a little bit bigger and wider they will collect dust so you might want to once or twice a year take it outside and hose it down um, here I, I can just hose it I can just hose it down if I want to but they will collect has some dust so otherwise they are as tough as can be and they give that nice architectural sculptural look that um, a lot of people like they go well in modern environments and they're also great in malls and public areas because they are so tough and the other interesting thing about these Sansevierias is that they do flower they have a white flower they had it last year they haven't started to flower yet but the flower is very sweet it gr it grows on a stalk and there's a lot of, lots of little flowers coming out so you wouldn't think a flower that looks I mean a plant as spiky as this would have a sweet smelling flower but it does if you would like to sign up for our monthly newsletter you can do so right here and for more tips ideas and creative inspiration you can visit our blog or go to our website joyousgarden.com